I'm going to show you what I did with the kids for Tinker Tuesday. We did some printing blocks. I took this in with the kids and we carved different messages in, uh, in them. Mine says Tinker. At a minimum I challenged them to try and see if they could figure out how to write their name and have it come out properly. After they all had a block made, we inked them up and made prints. I think this is something that's really easy and accessible. It gives a good introduction to printmaking and is a fun activity for the kids. So let me bring the camera down here and we will go over how I carved this, uh, what tools I used. Okay, so for this activity all we needed were some of our blocks that we prepared earlier. We'll need some carving tools. Uh, these are some little knives and um, mostly clay carving utensils that I got from Michaels. Many of the kids just use this, a plastic knife. Toothpicks, dowels, old chopsticks um, from takeout. Um, anything that they could use. Some even use just pencils and their finger fingers and fingernails to make their impressions for the print. Um, in order to pull the print, we will need um, some sort of ink. Um, this is some block printing ink that I got at uh, the art supply store. Um, but you could use any kind of paint or ink. This is simply a piece of glass that we will use as our inking surface. I have a, um, a brayer here. Um, this is just a, an ink roller just to roll the ink out. Um, and the critical piece, uh, this is probably the only um, specialized piece of equipment that you would need in order to run this activity. And then after the plate is inked, um, you would use a baron or something else to rub the paper on top of um, to rub the paper on top of the uh, printing block. Um, so I have this uh, baron from Speedball, um, which is just this. All it is is a uh, slightly padded tool with a looks like nylon or some some sort of fabric on there that is slick and smooth that can go over the material uh, with not a lot of friction. So let's go through and let's make a quick um, design on here and we will cut it out. We'll run a print right here. So we'll do this real quick. Um, I am just going to make a quick little star. So this is what I use to make mine. Um, I simply uh, made an outline that I wanted to do and then um, just went went back through and then uh, pushed in all the all the areas that I did not want to get ink. Um, and I, uh, okay. There is my finished block. Um, so let's get some ink on our plate and we will pull a nice image. Get a dab of blue. And this is the part that the kids really enjoyed was uh, was rolling out the ink. Actually, pulling the print from their block. So, here I pull the Alright, we have a nice even coat of paint on our block. And our block is ready to print. So, we will just simply apply our paper to it. Use our baron and just straight down, wiggle, straight down, wiggle. Um, and just get good coverage of the paper to the block um, and trying to be mindful to not move or shift the paper as we um, apply pressure. 
as it's on the table. If you don't know, you can just kind of lift up a corner and take a gentle peek and uh, trying not to shift the paper. When you're happy, just peel it off and you'll be done. So you will peel the block off. So here's our block inked that we just tested. And here is our old print. And that was block printing. And that's what I that's what I was cutting up all of those pink blocks for. Um, so it was a fun activity. It seems like it is a you know quite an easy um, and simple activity, but there is actually quite a lot of um, learning refinement and um, iteration that is required of the kids to get an image um, or text especially of what they um, want and imagine in their head which I find to be a critical component of any tinkering, tinkering activity. Those are the basis of block printing. I'd love to see what you do with your kids and the images that they make. You can tag me on the socials, I'll leave links down in the uh, description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.